What's up, Hunter from Black Valve, and today we're gonna to share with you a really weird problem we were having with a long HDMI cable and some grounding issues and how it affected our Bluetooth. So basically what happened is we ran a long HDMI cable to our television over here from this PC. Um, the PC and the TV are on different power sources. We can only assume um, they are on different walls. Generally a room is gonna have the same leg of power um, but in this case, I believe it's not because of that grounding issue. Now grounding issues can happen for an array of reasons. So it's also hard to give broad strokes on what can cause a grounding issue. So basically what can happen is the ground of power can travel across your HDMI cable and make weird things happen. It can break things. It can actually break your HDMI ports. Um, you know, it's not uncommon for like a PS5 to have a broken HDMI port because of these grounding issues that can happen within your home entertainment system. It's not uncommon for a PCI card, um, graphics card to have those issues. Now, a lot of these cards may have other safeties built in to protect you against that stuff. Um, but in this case, what happened to us is the image was good and all was great, but we were getting a constant error that was playing a disconnecting sound that was actually our Bluetooth driver having an issue but this was hardware based. So basically from what we can understand is a charge was existing within the Bluetooth module that is not normally there causing that issue. We can only assume that came from the grounding issue. Another telltale that you're having a grounding issue, Evan got shocked in this process, actually trying to plug the cable in and touching the computer or the cable. So if you're getting shocked, there is a grounding issue. So we're gonna try to recreate the grounding issue with the current power conditions we're in and then we're gonna plug the computer into the exact outlet that the television is in so we know for sure they're on the same leg of power. One of the toughest things with troubleshooting is red herrings. So obviously we're trying to connect the display. We had trouble just making sure the resolutions were right and that that was actually working. So when we heard an error sound, we could only assume that since the only thing that changed was that we added a monitor, that that was the problem. Now, it was the cause of the problem but then we were trying to solve the monitor as an issue, but there was nothing wrong with the monitor. So these red herrings when you're troubleshooting can cause a lot of trouble. Um, to solve that, we went right into the device manager to see if there was something obvious that was connecting and disconnecting. There's also a way to look in the console to see if a device is connecting and reconnecting the activity console. Um, so we use those tools to kind of deduct what the issue was. And what we found is we didn't have a Bluetooth option available and it was missing from the device manager. So, you know, we reinstalled the Bluetooth uh, driver, restarted the computer and still to no avail. We unplugged the monitor and it's Bluetooth was still not working. So the only real solution to that, that we ended up finding on a forum was to unplug the power, drain the caps of the computer, completely drain it, you know, unplug the power, turn the power switch off, hold the power switch down for 10 seconds is a good, um, is what most people will tell you to do. And then plug it back in, power it up. We had no issues after that. So it's, it's tough troubleshooting sometimes when one thing can cause another issue when you're believing that the thing you changed is the issue. So it's, it's hard, but there is ways, you know, with the device manager, for example, to kind of deductively and systematically figure out what the real issue is. To fix this issue, power down your computer, turn off your power supply. I recommend unplugging it from the wall as well. Hold the power button for 10 seconds and then boot up and see if it fixed it. First thing we're gonna do is try to recreate this issue and just so we can show you and you can see exactly what happens. Uh, it won't think it let you unless it'll see it. Yeah. All right, so we've got this HDMI running over there. Um, we're gonna plug it straight into the graphics card. I'm gonna get shocked. Good. All right, so we've got a picture there. And we'll make sure it's still there. And we're good. Fortunate for us, but unfortunately for you, we weren't able to recreate the problem. Um, we did swap around the connectors a few times but before, as soon as you would plug in the HDMI, it would basically kill that Bluetooth driver. So right now it's not doing that um, cool. 
Maybe it was, maybe, I, maybe we should unplug over there. Let's try that. Okay. Like replug, re yeah. patch it here. I did that also, yeah. So with a little fiddling, we were unable to recreate the issue, but the lesson here is that if you have an issue with your Bluetooth driver, it could be a grounding issue. Um, so especially if you're running a long cable, it's a very specific case because generally all your computer system is all in the same spot. Um, but yeah, hopefully you learned something and uh, good luck. <laughs> so to prevent this, always try to put your monitors and your computer systems all on the same leg of power. Uh, generally in a home, and uh, you're gonna have two legs, so you wanna go to the same outlet or ensure they're on the same leg of power. Uh, if you have some distance between your systems, you know, that can become a challenge. But if you're having grounding issues, it's likely because of that. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, throw it in the comments. Please subscribe if you wanna see more content like this and hit that like button if you can, if you'd like, if you like it. What is the f***ing, is James in the ceiling? <laughs>